What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're going over the PlayStation 4 PlayStation Store deals and offers of the week for the US side of things. Now they do have the double discounts if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you can save up to 80% off and these offers will end on June 4th, 2019. We've already gone over these so we're not going to go over them today but I will link you to it in an eye above the card in case you guys wanted to check out the double discounts now keep in mind if you're not playstation plus subscriber you can still take advantage of the deals but you're only going to save up to 40 percent off this week's deals include grand theft auto 5 for 14.99 2K19 for 1919 we get the complete edition of the witcher 3 wild hunt for 1499 we're going to go over the game deals and see what this week's offers are again if you want to see the double discounts go and check that video out um i've already linked it to you guys in the eye above the card so let's go ahead and jump right into it now we do have we're gonna see a lot of ea stuff on sale especially before e3 because you, we know that ea is planning on having their own little mini e3 before e3 happens uh, so just keep an eye out because if you are interested in some of the popular titles that EA has to offer, they might be on sale this week and they might also continue to be on sale leading up to E3. Now this week's deals are honestly pretty good to say the least. Uh, we do have the double discount so that is going to you know mark down a lot of prices but nevertheless uh, this week besides the double discounts we do see a lot of bundles in here. We see Far Cry 4 and Zombie. Uh, now Far Cry 4 is pretty cool. Zombie it, it it's a hit or miss for people to be honest with you, but that bundle's $14.99, so I thought I'd mention that one there. Are there any games that we've already previewed that you would like to mention? Please let us know in those comments down below because your guys' feedback also helps, uh, you know, our, our fellow community uh, members that uh, are maybe interested in purchasing some games. Dead Alliance, I would stay far, far away from that one <laughs> to be completely honest with you guys. We do have L.A. Noir, which is $19.99. I have it on the PlayStation 3. Never bought it for the PlayStation 4 because I already played it. Um, now, it is pretty cool because it's remastered and they, they did more stuff to it um, and fixed it up uh, compared to the th uh, PS3 version. Uh, but for me personally, like when I own a game on the PlayStation 3, I don't know. Am I alone? If I own a game on the PlayStation 3 and I've already played it, I really love it. I probably am not going to buy it for the PlayStation 4 unless it's like my all time favorite game, uh, you know, ever or, you know, one of the top 10 uh, favorite games of previous generations. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had a little hiccup and cough at the same time. I don't know what's going on. I'm not getting sick. No, not allowed. No, I'm not getting sick. I'm good. Uh, we got Star Wars Battlefront hot bundle i've actually been talking a lot i've recorded like four other videos before this one so my voice might be raspy plus i went to a dodger game last night and i screamed my head off because it was an incredible game nine dodgers were up um pretty much the majority of the the game the mets had it uh, for a bit and it was pretty close but the final score spoiler alert was nine to five and uh, now i'm not a big baseball fan and uh you know i i don't pick sides when it comes to baseball of course i'd root for the home team which is la dodgers but um do you guys watch baseball i'm kind of curious let me know in those comments down below uh the tickets just fell into my lap and i was like hey <laughs> let's go to dodgers your game and uh, now magicka 2 special edition is 399 i love this game uh, i definitely do recommend it if you guys are in the market of uh you know getting a game um that is a little bit more casual but has a lot of stuff involved um in you guys like that type of gameplay definitely do recommend it toad jam and earl i featured a little bit of gameplay on here it's a little bit slower than my cup of tea Trials Fusion, definitely do recommend. The, the game's awesome. Um, they had a couple of free trials. I think Trials Fusion was free at one point. Uh, quote me if I'm wrong on that one. Uh, Unraveled is a great game. I would recommend Unraveled 2 over 1. Even though Unraveled 1 is like the start of it and it's an awesome and great game, if you're getting into Unraveled, Unraveled 2 has co-op and it is so enjoyable to play with friends. 
like it's so cool blasters of the universe great uh ps vr game uh unlike dark net uh claire extended cut very adult themed um it's ex extended cut so um if you guys are in the market of maybe an adult themed um more of a casual game then maybe check that out um, we also have a lot of indie titles in the list. Strider uh, was a pretty cool like side scroller. I didn't really get too much into it to be honest with you. Cur Cook <laughs> Serve Delicious 2. I have that game on my back burner. Uh, no pun intended with a cooking game being on the back burner. Uh, but that's one of the list of games that, that it's part of the my backlog of games. The games that I need to play um, but I haven't touched yet. Do you guys have a backlog of games? Uh, maybe that you started or maybe you have like you know haven't even touched yet let me know in those comments down below and i'm kind of curious like what games are on your list that you might not have touched or you started to play but you want to continue to play more but there's so many other good games right now that you can't seem to find time for everything so really curious on that one we're starting to get into the themes and avatars epic dumpster bear um is a, a dumpster fire for sure uh but the game's uh fun and quirky uh you double jump and the bear farts out fire and <laughs> like that really happens in the game worms worms battleground alien invasion oh baby now we're getting into the themes and avatars so i'm gonna back out of here we got playstation plus deals which we're gonna browse through kind of quickly oh man they're throwing in the themes and avatars they always do uh you know playstation plus deals really good before they announce the playstation plus instant game collection but this week doesn't look like it ah uh, i don't know why either i really wish i really wish uh, they, they would include more uh, deals in this section. But, ladies and gentlemen, the game deals are actually pretty good. i love to know, are you guys going to take advantage of any of the deals that you saw in this list? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and the continuous support. It has been absolutely amazing. I freaking appreciate you guys. You guys don't understand how much I appreciate you for letting me do this and entertaining you guys and bring you guys the latest and greatest in PlayStation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to support your vote by drop a comment, drop a like. If you guys are new, please subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. And I will see you guys in the next news update. Do I still have my PlayStation camera on? I do from PlayStation VR. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next news update.